Okay, so the season light has finally arrived and we are out doing the grind. Firstly, what I will say is the Pokemon you catch is Cosmog and you have to check out next and right now because I went to the shop and I bought the hat and I bought the jacket and they are unbelievable. Look at him, look at him, look at him catching those bugs, look at him being totally awesome. Okay, so we're getting the field research, two of them are actually quite easy to do, they're all easy to do really, but there doesn't seem to be any psychic spawns around here. Now, I saw Zoe's, she's in Australia, so they went first and she also had a similar problem, so I'd imagine you, if you're watching, you might have had a similar problem, or you're going to have a similar problem. Either way, I've only caught like five. They are just not about at the moment. And respect and next them for finding such a beautiful spot to shoot this opening shot. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna look at the loading screen. We're going to look at what's in the shop and if it's worth your time and money. And we're eventually gonna finish this uh, special research today, check out Cosmog, hope for the Hundo, and uh, and then and wish you good day. So let's uh, let's just keep this journey going. Peace and love, dudes. Let's go. Okay, so trying to finish this is proving quite difficult. So let's look at the shop. In the two ninety nine training box, you have three remote raid passes, ten pokeballs, and an incubator. I think this is probably worth it because two ninety nine normally costs three hundred poke coins for a remote raid pass. Sorry, for three remote raid passes, so 100 poker coins. So this is actually kind of worth it. This is pretty good. You get an incubator, which I think are like 40 or 60, and then 10 pokeballs, which whatever 20 is worth half of that. It's not terribly important because you can get gifts from your friends up. Great box for 775 pokemons has three super incubators, three regular incubators, a puffin, and an incense, which comes to 1190 which is almost 12, 12 euros, 1200 poker coins, and you're getting it for 775. So if you need any of those things, it's actually not a bad buy either. And the Ultra Box for 1900 poker coins, which is about 19 euros or $19, um, has 10 super incubators, five regular incubators, uh, two premium raid passes and two remote raid passes. I honestly don't think this has worked uh, it at all, even though if you add up the amount of stuff you're saving, oh my God, a flight ready to get me. Um, you know, you are saving money, but I just, I just don't think it's worth it. I think the first one, the training box, is pretty, pretty cool. I mean, two ninety nine, you're getting three remote raid passes, a free incubator, in my opinion, and um, can't remember what else was in it, but um, I think that, I think that's the best one, really. Five more to go. This is ridiculous. I swear to God, I don't even know where I live anymore. I'm after walking so far. All right, so I've had to get into the car because I've got two psychic Pokemon left to catch, and I cannot find them anywhere. I've been out for two hours now and 13 minutes trying to catch any psychic Pokemon. I threw down an incense and I've got to say, they said it was increased. It absolutely is not. It's a light and now I'm stuck in traffic at 12.13. Just back in the door and guess what? We have finished all of the research, so let's jump on and have a look at little Cosmogio. Firstly, he looks awesome. I got a 166. So it's not a hundo, it's not even a three star, but it doesn't matter because it's pretty cool. And then right after that, Rai comes in with some new research, which I'm not gonna go out and do because it just took me two hours and 20 minutes to catch 15 psychic Pokemon. So until they start until they start spawning a bit more frequently, like yesterday and the day before, then I'll go out and do that. But you do get three encounters with Pokemon, so we're gonna have to wait and see what happens there. Okay, and finally, let's look at the loading screen. Okay, so first things first, the screen looks absolutely awesome, the new loading screen. We're greeted straight away at the forefront with Litwick, which I think, and everyone else is saying, it means there's definitely a community day for this guy. I mean, why would you put him right there at the forefront just before the trainer? Up in the back, in a huge shadow-like kind of motion, we've got Goswal. It has to be, can be nothing else. Then we've got a couple of bats flying around the place and nothing really hinting off too much to what might be to come unless like you really want to zoom in there to the left of the moon and possibly make out a Lunala or something like that. Or, But um, I'd say everything they put up on Twitter uh, to now has been, you know, basically that that's their way of saying, this is what's happening. These are the secrets. This is the season. The loading screen isn't giving too much away. Just, I think a very prominent hint at Yes, you will be getting that community day, so, you know, you're ready. Be happy. Anyway, guys, please check out the other videos. Um, for anyone following the series of me catching the Galarian birds, we actually haven't found my brother yet, so that's kind of worrying. 
but you can check that out there. Other than that, I uh, hope you have an absolutely awesome time going out grinding. I'm going to do the second part of the research some point later today because, you know what, almost three hours of just getting a Cosmog, uh, that's enough, okay? Keep it real, have a good day, have a good grind, and welcome to the season of light. Next in, Houston, let's go.